All right, so now that we have the authors and the blog posts imported from SQL, now we want to be able to take the information that we've imported and maybe alter it, filter it, or otherwise take the information that we've imported and import it into a new content tree. In this example, I'm just going to use uh, some of the posts to create new items just to show you how to use the fields that we have. So the first thing we're going to want to do, actually let's create a folder for this new imported content to go to. And we're just going to call it post data. Because that's what we're going to import is just a handful of the post data to show you how it works. And then we're going to create a template for it. In here. Then we're going to create the data import for that item. So this time we're going to use a Sitecore import uh, for the post data. Actually, uh, let's jump back to the, the template and actually fill out some of these fields. So we're going to import the URL, we're going to import the path, and import the title again. So really what we're doing is we're just filtering down some of this information that we have for the posts into a new set of items. Um, you can do all kinds of things with this. Really this is just to show you what it can do and, and how to use it. So now we've got that, hit save, jump up to the post data. In this case again, we're not gonna really be concerned with foldering, although you could what we do have now, instead of a, a SQL entry field, is an XPath entry field. So this is how we're going to query the information. Which data do we want to use as our source? Um, so we want to pull SQL content home, blog posts, <clears throat> and we want to get all of them all the way down into the folders. And then we're going to ask us uh, same things. Where are we going to import it to? So this new post data folder. What template are we going to use? And what field do we want to use as the name? In this case, just want to use the title. So the Sitecore import, like the SQL import, has fields. What we're going to use is just same set up what we use to import the title. Um, but it also has properties. Properties are not field values, but generated values, like the, in this case, what we have is two, the path and the URL. So the path is you know, what you'd expect it to be. It's uh, the path, content path, really. So you're telling it that you want to put it into the path field on that post data template. And again, here you have the ability to customize this and tell it to use your class and your assembly to manage this import. And hit save. We're going to create the URL text for the URL field. And that's what we need so far. So we have the enough information to, to query Sitecore pull the templates, a fields mapping, path mapping, and a URL mapping. Um, so then we want to jump back into the uh, data import tool. Um, here you'll see the post data import setting. We want to run import on that. It tells you it's finished. We want to refresh the content tree. And now you can see that uh, it went through and found all four posts. It gives you the URL, it gives you the path, uh, and the title. And again, you know, these aren't all encompassing fields. It really was just to demonstrate what can be done, um, especially when you get to the point where you're ready to customize it. 
and add your own field types. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other uh, additional properties to import. You know, the, the data importer is really just an engine that allows you to uh, map field to field from the SQL or Sitecore to the new Sitecore item field. So that's a that's all I got here for the Sitecore import and the SQL import. The next video is actually going to go over how to customize it, how to add new data types, uh, add new data sources. Um, an ex example, we don't have MySQL supported or Oracle, but that won't be very difficult to um, include. So that'll go into the next uh, the next video when we pull the source and actually show you all that.